a warm welcome to one and all myself abida here i am presenting the paper regarding the radial basis neural network trained minimum snap trajectory for quadrotors contents in our section are introduction unmanned aerial vehicles why we are going for quadrotor unmanned aircrafts need of optimal trajectory generation optimal trajectory generation method problem statement minimum snap trajectory proposed radial basis neural network train trajectory advantages radial basis neural network and the performance simulation rule. introduction unmanned air vehicles the unmanned aerial vehicles we know that it is a class of aircraft which are flying without human on board pilot so the major classifications of them in accordance to the wing structure are the fixed wing flapping wing rotor aircraft this rotor craft is further classified in accordance to the number of the rotors available and the structure they are quadrotors coaxial hex rotors and helicopters the research interest is in the quadrotors which belongs to rotor craft which is belongs to the unmanned aircraft now why we are going for quadrotors uavs instead we have so many types of rotor craft itself why because it is mechanically simple and have the ability to perform the vertical landing and take off and have a high maneuverability high maneuverability so these features makes the quadrotors a little more interesting than that of the others and for a uh, traveling or for a flight of the quadrotor we have a start location and to the destination location this destination we have to meet it trajectory so this trajectory generation is very much important in the case of autonomous flight mission and this trajectory is uh, generation is done by using the path planning module and it depends on the how the mission is complete successfully depends upon how more reliable and most robust path planning module with the quadrotor itself and it uh, must have the capability to provide a smooth trajectories for the uh, successful of the quadrotor so uh, we have to check what is the need of optimal trajectory we are generating the trajectory from start location to the uh, target position and then uh, what is the need of the optimal trajectory so in uh, instead of just making a trajectory we have certain constraints on the computational time and also the path length and completeness so when we are include these constraints then it will be more effective so we are going for the optimal trajectory in terms of path plan Length by a path planning module, which will minimize the quadrotor UAV flight time, and thus it can able to uh, fly over a long time. That is prolonged UAV's endurance and also the life cycle that we increased. Then the quadrotor, we it is very much uh, effective when we have a smooth flight mission from the starting location to the designation. So this can be done by using a minimum snap trajectory and minimum snap trajectory. that is snap in the sense that it is the fourth derivative of the position and in the case of the quadrotors when we check into the dynamics of quadrotor we can see that the dynamic is directly linked to the fourth derivative of the position and also the quadrotors are differentially flat device so the output trajectory can be stay can determine the input states and the control inputs of the quadrotor so Mm, quadrotor uh, smooth flight mission with minimum control effort will be effective by generating a minimum snap trajectory so this an optimal trajectory generation may be uh, very much necessary for the successful so how we are going for generating the trajectory the first uh, what is the trajectory as we say that it is a path which is uh, defined by the timing law so if the path is theta of t it having x of t that is the scaling factor so t is the parameter timing parameter and we can consider a closed interval from the initial time as 0 to the final time as t so t belongs to 0 to t theta x of t is our trajectory so in the how we are going for generating optimal trajectory so first we can check the case of the one dimensional trajectory the one dimensional trajectory say in the x direction x of t can be obtained by argument minimum of x of t integral 0 to initial time to find the 0 to t x of n the derivative square dt so the n determines the derivative of the input function so if n is equal to 1 means it is a shortest distance trajectory or minimum velocity trajectory and if n is equal to 2 means it is the minimum axis acceleration trajectory 
and third derivative is the jerk and fourth derivative is the snap so we can write the cost function for a minimum snap trajectory in a three dimensional space from the time interval t0 to tf as cs is equal to r given minimum of r r belongs to x y and z from integral t0 to tf the r fourth derivative no that is r of four fourth derivative is d now define the problem statement we design a minimum snap and uh, we require to design a minimum snap trajectory r of t such a way that it is given in the equation argument minimum integral 0 to t the lagrangian function up to fourth derivative dt so that the code rotor can be fly over the uh, as shown in the figure it having points w0 to w n from the time t0 t1 to tf this uh, trajectory can be uh, this problem can be solved by using the euler poisson equation as given below dou l by dou r up, up to the fourth derivative uh, d uh, d4 by dt4 uh, of dou l by dou r raised to square equal to 0 take the lagrangian function of the fourth derivative x of 4 square x in the in the sense that it is one dimension if it is three dimension r that is x y and z then we get the smooth trajectory <coughs> the polynomial function so we uh, require four uh, fourth derivative and we have uh, uh, four constraints uh, with minimum and maximum so we have to get eight coefficients so uh, p of t we can be uh, we have uh, seventh order polynomial function we have defined in the equation uh, and we have to on the ultimate area, we have to find the coefficients q0 to q7 this can be done by using this matrix p of t0 uh, p of tf uh, p dot that is the velocity at t0 tf and p double dot t0 tf is the jerk and p of fourth the derivative is the uh, third derivative is the jerk so uh, first position then velocity then acceleration then jerk then uh, the uh, timing uh, principle is given in the matrix and then the coefficient matrix so coefficient matrix we get a, just a simple from uh, inversion a x is a equal to uh, x b then b is obtained as the x inverse of a so uh, and we can see that this matrix is always a uh, uh, it will uh, the determinant is always a positive value it will not be zero as that ti final time is always positive there is no negative in the final time and no zero will be there so it will uh, be well defined so inverse is a possible for all the timing and then when we get the coefficient we put into the equation p of t we get the trajectory from the uh, starting point to the uh, final point with the initial time to the final time by uh, satisfying the constraints of the velocity acceleration and the now we are training this obtained trajectory by using a radial basis neural network so we have to go for first the basic structure of a radial basis neural network why we select radial basis neural network in the sense that it is a universal function approximator so uh, we have to, uh, we can check the structure the first layer is the radial basis layer the next is the linear layer the first layer you can see that it computes the euclidean distance between the input and the weight vector and get be multiplied or the product is point between the bias now uh, the output uh, we uh, get from the uh, n1 uh, from the net output it is given to the gaussian activation function e raised to minus n square that is the net is here minus n at square then next is the we are giving uh, the output to the second layer second layer is just a linear layer where the weights w in the second layer get be uh, multiplied with the output in the first layer o1 and this get be at the bias Yes. This is the net output or in the second leg. Now, the proposed how we are going for training the trajectory, we are considering a time interval T0 to Tf. Then the radial basis neural network learns the RBN, uh, the minimum snap trajectory and also its derivatives. And as, as seen in the uh, picture that uh, it is from uh, T, uh, T0, we have a series of A points, W0 to Wn from T0 to Tf. So, uh, we are considering the piecewise polynomial functions as given in the equation RT of T and then taking the input. Uh, a vector as the time ti to uh, tj and creating the target as R, ri of t for uh, the interval now why and when we are doing this what are the benefits we know that the uh, radial basis neural network uh, we are using and many and network is using the data are stored in the form of the weights and the bias in the 
uh, input uh, bias in the network itself but uh, in the case of analytic method it is stored in the database so any missing in the data it will not be work properly but in the case of neural network even a small missing in the data it will not affect the working so it can function properly and also the nets are capable of predicting the future behavior from its past value and even a small deviation from the uh, from the desired uh, desired path we given it will approximate to the normal uh, trained path so uh, even in the noisy condition and also uh, a little more little uh, necessary sampling period it can predict also the uh, future behavior of that now the radial basis neural network performance we say that it having two layer uh, and when we compute it having the first radial basis neural network layer uh, we require a 402 neurons for training and then uh, the uh, output layer is the single layer the total epoxy we require is 400 and it gives a mean square error of 4.50 to erase to minus the simulation results are shown here from the time interval t, uh, 0 to 1 we get uh, the first polynomial function r t of t then this is from 1 to 2 uh, the second piecewise polynomial function the uh, means minimum snap trajectory so first graph it is showing the x y variation with respect to time next is the velocity acceleration and jet in the acceleration profile you can see that uh, the neural network is ha having a uh, continuous uh, there is no any discontinuity very smooth transition between the waypoints but in the case of the um, the case of the uh, uh, normal case it having a little discount around the waypoints will be coming now the first straight uh, the straight line trajectory which is plotted and the second one is the closed loop trajectory we can construct any number of trajectories by using the waypoints mm, here we are considering four waypoints uh, then returning back to the same point so is obtained so we can conclude that the unmanned aerial vehicles which are the aerial robotic sector having which is involved in the risky mission where the humans can be dangerous so condors because of simplicity and longer maneuvering capability we can be able to use the rotors as the best choice next is the optimal trajectory generation is very much necessary for the smooth flight mission under constraints in velocity acceleration control effort etc for this minimum snap trajectory is the best in the case of quad rotors when according to the dynamics we are considering and when we are training with the radial basis neural network it have more advantages in the performance and also we can see the smooth transition the acceleration and also uh, it can predict the future behavior and also a little bit uh, deviation uh, lost in the data it will not affect the functioning thank you